Hi, I'm James E. Tech, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to go over the Google IT Support Professional Certification, if it's worth obtaining, the pros and cons of obtaining the certification, um, how much it costs, uh, what's actually in the certification, what you, what you learn from it, and if it's actually useful to get into the IT industry. So if you want to hear all that, make sure to watch this video to the end, and if you find this video useful, like the video and subscribe for more. So the Google IT Support Professional Certification is something you can find on Coursera, which has all kinds of certifications in college, all, all kinds of stuff on Coursera. Um, it has a 4.8 star review, and there's over 1.3 million people who are enrolled to take this certification. So it's a pretty popular certification on Coursera. And it's not a test, it's more of a six month course that you can take at your own pace. They recommend 10 hours a week at that pace you go up to six months um, flexible schedules so you can do it whenever you want there's no designated time that you have to actually do the courses um, and you can earn degree credits that based on what college you go to and all that kind of stuff um, Coursera claims 75% of its graduates have a positive career outcome so that's something to take away from that as well if it's worth it or not um, each part of the certification so there's five courses let's say you complete one course it gives you a individual certification for each course as well so not only do you get the Google IT support professional you get the individual course certifications as well as you complete them so even though you may not be completely done with the course you'll have one two three certifications because and that shows your progress taking the actual certification so the five courses that they have is Technical Support Fundamentals, the Bits and Bytes of Computer Networking, a networking course, and then they have Operating Systems and You, Becoming a Power User, which is about all kinds of operating systems. Then they have Systems Administration and IT Infrastructure. And then the last one they have is IT Security. So those all go over the very fundamental levels of each category. So really good range of things that you can, you definitely will need in the IT support field. So those are all the courses and all of them have around a, a four to five star review. Now when it comes to price, this is where it gets a little iffy because if you're someone who wants to complete it really quick, you can complete it within three to four months instead of their six month recommendation. That's if you were to do it at uh, uh, 10, hour, 10 hours a week. But if you wanted to go and do more than that, you can actually complete the course faster than that. Now the way that the pricing works is that it's $50 per month. So you don't pay a base price to take the certification like a lot of other ones. Like for example, the CompTIA A plus is around $240 and you take a test. If you pass it, you get the certification. And if you don't, you don't get the certification. Now this one, you pay $50 a month, go at, a, at, go at your own pace. And once you're done, you obtain the certification. So there's no actual test that you have to take to obtain it. You just go through course content. They have some quizzes, but they allow you to retake them and stuff. It's just to move you along the course. So if you want to do the math, $50 a month at six months is $300. So if you wanted to do the six month route, you would pay $300 to do all of the certification. They do have financial aid though. I don't know how all that works. You can apply for financial aid. I would if before taking it just to see if you can get any aid because that $50 can turn into something a lot, a lot less than that. You also get a week free trial. So if you don't know if you this is going to be for you, um, you can sign up for free for a week. Try it out. And if you don't like it, then you could just stop taking it. So I would take that away. If you are interested at all in the certification, I would at least try the free week. See if it's for you. And if it's not, then I would just cancel it. So now the pros of the certification is it's a flexible schedule do it on your own time whenever you can if you have a full-time job you can come home after a long day do a couple watch a couple of their videos and be done for the night so you can do that or if you're someone who's in school and has free time like a study hall you could use that study hall time to do as many of the videos as you can at the time um google is a wide known company so when you have this on your resume people see google and it's like it's a known company, so you know it's going to be a relatively relevant course and a certification. So it definitely looks good to have Google on your resume. Um, it preps you for the A+, but you don't actually have to take the A+. Now, a lot of people will take the A+, after the certification and get something called a dual credit, which means you get both of them into one certification. Now, I didn't personally do that, but um, you could do either one. If you do that, it is going to be obviously... The $300 uh, for the Coursera course, and then you have to pay the additional $200-ish for the CompTIA certification. 
There's no actual certification test, so that's another pro. So if you're not someone who's a great test taker, but you are committed to take this certification, you could spend a couple months, get this, and it'd be a great look on your resume, regardless of having to actually take a test. Um, you can get financial aid. That's another pro. The course actually teaches you something, and you can and you uh, can prove that you have the discipline to go through a six month long course. So even though you don't have to take a test. You definitely have to watch these videos and go through the videos and take quizzes and hands-on labs and you have to go through all of that. So it does show that you are disciplined and that you are willing to learn for an extended amount of time. Now some cons is that it can take you a while to complete obviously if you're someone who is not wanting to take a six month long course this is definitely not for you. If you're someone who's not patient and wants to study your own way this is probably not the certification for you either. Um, Another con is that it can cost just as much as the A plus exam, if not more. If you use the six months, it actually costs more than the A plus. If you do less than six months, it's going to be around the same price. Now, if you're someone who wants to get the A plus and you want to use this as your study method, that's a little different because obviously to get the A plus, you want to have some study methods, which those can cost money. So if you want to use this as your study method, I guess that would count as well. Um, but if you want to do both, this is definitely a good route to go. If you are willing to spend the money to learn the content and actually take the test at the very end, this is not a bad idea because you can go through this course, learn all the basics of IT, and then take the A+, obtain that, and then you have two certifications just like that. Another con is getting this certification alone, alone will probably not sway employers as much as the CompTIA A+, because CompTIA A+, is way more popular, and this course um, has discipline, but it doesn't test your knowledge really. You can just go through this course and without doing anything really, and you could get the certification. But the A plus, you have to actually pass it and know the knowledge to take the test. So I guess that could sway employers a little more than the Google IT Pro. And if you want to get the A plus and the certification, it's going to be around six hundred dollars for both of these certifications. So that's definitely a lot of money if you want to do both. But getting the A plus alone would be like two forty. Now my experience taking this, I personally enjoyed doing this course type thing because um, I was in high school, um, I had a f two free study hall periods, so I would pretty much every day I'd do it on at least one of my study hall periods, uh, do this course, watch the videos, take the quizzes in about, I'd do about a week and a couple days, so I had a lot more time to actually do this course. It actually took me a little over four months to get the certification so it didn't take me as long as Coursera says it will but that's because of how much free time I had um I was committed to doing this and I did spend a lot of time doing it so if you're someone who is a procrastinator I don't know if this will be for you because if you take a few week break you're just gonna be paying for nothing pretty much so overall I paid around two hundred dollars for the whole course which is a little less than the A-plus exam. And I was pretty happy with that because I didn't have to pay 200 up front. I could just pay 50 bucks a month and it's not as bad as paying 200 up front. I feel like I had a lot of good things to take away, but at the same time, since I, I'm in the Cisco Networking Academy, so I networking is one of the things in my skill set, along with just knowing basic things about a computer. So some things on this course definitely felt uh, like things I've already known, but at the same time, you do have to get through those kinds of things that take certifications. Um, so like, for example, the bits and bytes of computer networking course definitely was not for me as much because I already knew a lot about it. So I was able to just go through it relatively quick, take all the quizzes and get done with it. But I did definitely take away a lot. For example, the operating system course was very helpful to learn both Windows and Linux well. And systems administration was also very useful, learning what Active Directory is, learning a lot about IT customer service and all that kind of stuff so definitely helped me learn a lot but at the same time there are some aspects that I've already known and another thing it helped me get noticed by a couple employers so if you want to get the certification to boost your resume if you don't have a lot for example this is definitely a good uh, good certification for that because I'm someone who's young still in high school so I definitely wanted something to show what I've known know and stuff um, so I'm an IT health test intern at a company so this certification definitely helped me leverage my resume and get that spot as an IT help desk intern so that's hopefully what you want to get out of this certification now lastly is it worth it me personally 
I think it was worth it in my scenario. I was a high school student, I only had the ITF, uh, CompTIA ITF certification, so this definitely helped boost my resume a lot. Um, if you're someone with no experience, it's definitely a good starting point. For example, I had no experience before this. Um, you don't get the full cert experience where you have to go and study and take a test, but you also get the knowledge of actually getting the certification. So it definitely will teach you something. If, if, if you don't learn anything from this course, I'll be very surprised by that. If you have a few certifications, or, or even the A-plus certification, I would not advise taking this. So if you have like the A-plus certification, or maybe the Net Plus CCNA potentially, and you're considering this certification, I would say if you have a few of the basic certifications, I would say you don't have to take this. But the ITF, like I had, is definitely a low, low level certification below this one. So I thought it would definitely be useful to take this as well. If you're someone who's already in the field as an IT help desk support person or a NOC professional or SOC professional, definitely would not advise this certification as your experience will definitely leverage yourself way more than a certification. If you have the money and you want to actually learn something from the certification instead of actually obtaining it, you could do that as well. But yeah, if you're someone in early college or high school who wants to get a resume booster, definitely would recommend this resume or this certification. So hopefully this, you found this video useful. Um, so overall, the certification is worth it in some scenarios and not worth it in some. I know that's how most of these videos go because not every certification is totally not worth it to an extent. Um, but yeah, if you found this video useful, uh, drop a like on this video and subscribe for more videos like this. I'm trying to upload somewhat consistently. I'm trying to come up with some ideas for uh, videos on here. I appreciate the growth as we hit 100 subscribers relatively fast on this channel. So I really appreciate you guys um, supporting and all that stuff. So really appreciate that. And I'm glad you like the uh, CCNA video. I might make some more CCNA experience videos because some people wanted me to go more in depth. So I might do that as well. So if you found this video useful, like and subscribe. If you have any questions on the certification, comment down below or hit me up on LinkedIn. That will be in my description as well on my link tree. Um, you can go ahead and do that. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this video, like the video. And I'll see you guys next time.